Hi guys, Sunday Code, and welcome to another simple tutorial. Today I want to discuss file duplication and how to easily find and remove those duplicates within Linux. Sometimes when you're working with files, you're going to end up with some duplicates. These duplicates obviously take up very valuable storage space and also make it that much harder in the future to manage and control the data that you have in your hard drive. A perfect example of this would be my wife. Her idea of file maintenance doesn't seem to exist. She stores files by dumping every picture, download or media file either onto the desktop or in some random folder in her home directory. She'll continuously download more photographs from all the devices, she'll send pictures to friends and family, they'll send ones back, but never, and I really do mean never, tidy or organise those files, and in doing so she ends up with duplicates absolutely everywhere. Well in Linux there's a beautiful command line tool which is going to save the day, and it's going to help us deal with those situations. This is fdupes. It finds duplicate files in a given set of directories. These files are then found by comparing file sizes and MD5 signatures, followed by a byte-by-byte -byte comparison. First, let's install the program. If you're using a Debian-based distribution, then use apt, or if you're using another distribution, use the relevant package manager that comes with that distro. I'm currently logged into my Raspberry Pi for this tutorial, so we will be using the apt package manager. To get the actual program, you need to type in sudo apt install and it's fdupes. Once you've typed that in, click enter. It will ask you if you want to install it with a yes. Click the yes and hit enter. I've already got it installed, so it just went straight through for me. We can quickly take a look at the usage requirements of the program by typing in fdupes minus h. As you can see, it's got a few options in there, not too many. It's also got a man page. You can get that up by typing man fdupes. As you can see, fairly thorough. In this tutorial, I will show you the most important functions of fdupes, and the rest is there for your further reading. As you can see, it's quite a minimalistic program, but nonetheless, a very powerful one. Firstly, I'd like to show you how to check for duplicates without actually deleting or removing any files. I always recommend checking before removing duplicates. Possibly there's a duplicated file in there that you actually wish to keep. So to check without removing files, we simply choose the directory we wish to find the duplicates in and pass two arguments to the command. Those are R for recursive, so it'll check all the folders under your chosen directory. And finally, the other is a capital S, and this just prints the size in bytes that duplicate files are taking up. Let's actually go in and use fdupes now. So fdupes, minus R for recursive, and actually dropping down through the directories, and minus capital S, and this just returns the size and bytes that these files are taking up, and then the location. Now I've actually set a a little location aside called uh, example um, on one of my hard drives. So I'll just get that out for you now. Okay, please note that on large directories with thousands of files, our dupes can take quite a bit of time. Like I mentioned before, it actually compares the files and then compares the MD5 signatures and then does a byte by byte comparison. And there we go. Once completed, you'll have a list of your duplicates. As you can see, we've got quite a few. There's a typical my wife, I just took a snapshot of one of our folders and it was minuscule. There's a million duplicates <laughs> in there. You can sort of see uh, obvious ones there. Passport, passport, passports and uh, Halloween stuff. There we go. Halloween. Look at that. That's even in two different directories. Halloween 2016, Jack-O-Lantern. And uh, well, I'll use that as an example, actually. Uh, Halloween 2016, Jack-O-Lantern, and this one's just in pictures, Jack-O-Lantern 2. So two different file names and different directories, and they're exactly the same photograph. Okay, let me just open up the duplicate windows to show you that these two files with completely different names and completely different directories are actually the same and are a duplicate. So let me just switch over to my Raspberry Pi screen. There we go. Okay, I've actually pre-prepped and got this up for you. Here we go, pictures folder. We've got Jack-O-Lantern 2, 
and in the pictures Halloween 2016 folder we've got jackolantern.jpg so we've got two different files two different file names in two different directories okay let's see if they're the same this is jackolantern2 and this is jackolantern exactly the same now none of this has actually deleted these duplicates, so let's do that now. There are two ways of doing this, there's the aggressive way, and then there's the cautious but longer way. Let's go back to our main screen. Okay, let's start with the longer, more cautious way. We're going to do F dupes, minus R, and minus D for delete, okay, and then the directory name. So we're going to go back to mount. And for me, it was extended HD2, and the folder was example. OK. Let's check in the list. As you can see, it's gone through, and it's found 18 sets. And it's asking me, would I like to preserve? There's three copies of this file. Which one would I like to keep? Now, I've got a choice of one, two, three, or all. If I type in all, it will keep all the files. And if I want to keep just one of the files, I will press which one I want to keep. So I'm going to say I want to keep number one. And just hit enter. And then it will ask me the next one. As you can see, this is the longest way. If you have many, many files, this could take a long time. On this one, I want to keep them all. On the next one, I just want to keep number one. And we can keep going through until we have finished. Rather than do that, I'll just break out of it. Um, I will quickly show you in that directory, actually, if I can. Let's switch back over to my Raspberry Pi. And let's see, Passport was one of the photographs that I got rid of, wasn't it? And we should, if I can find in there, Passport. I got rid of all the other passports, and there you go. Okay, as you can see, and as I mentioned before, in a very, very large directory, this is going to take quite a long time. So let's do it the aggressive way now. We'll switch back over to the other screen and we'll go F dupes, minus R for recursive once again, minus D for delete, and now we do minus capital N. And what the capital N is saying is, please don't ask me, just go ahead, delete all of the files which are duplicated, but keep one copy of each. So you just put in your directory at the end that you want to do that to. So for me, it was extended HD. Can't remember what it was. Yeah, HD2, sorry about this. <laughs> and example. And when I hit this, it will just go ahead and do that. There we go, it's found all the duplicates. And as you can see, it gives you a slightly different list. Now, the plus there means this is the file that it's decided to keep, and the minuses mean these are the files it's actually deleted. So it's got rid of uh, a few of those duplicates there, and there, it's kept the top one, got rid of the bottoms, and all of these are keep, delete, keep, delete, keep, delete, and so on. Just before I finish, I also want to mention one of the other options, which you could do is, uh, you could go F dupes minus, minus uh, R for recursive minus D and the other one is minus P and it's just a small P and then your location in there. But uh, what that's doing is if you wanted to actually keep a duplicate, what the P does is it checks file permissions. So you could have two files the same and you could say, let's say one of them, you just change the file permissions to read write and uh, and the other one is read write execute because they've got different file permissions with the minus p it will check them it will not see them as a duplicate so that's a handy handy way to actually keep duplicates that you want to and get rid of all the others so you could actually beforehand go through all the files just slightly change the permissions of the file that you want to keep as a duplicate and it will do so 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's a great utility, which you can clean up your hard drive from duplicates. Certainly if you have music folders and uh, picture folders, you'd be amazed how many duplicates are going to appear in your hard drive that you wouldn't even think about. And uh, like I said, just be very, very careful. It's extremely powerful uh, and it's to be used at your own risk. I always suggest that you test it on data, which has no importance before you actually try it on something for real. Smash that thumbs up button if you found the video helpful in any way. And don't forget to subscribe if you want some more simple tutorials in the future. So see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys. Code out. Bye bye.